Hi and welcome to this week's video. Uh, I'm planning, uh, although work may well get in the way, to try and get the uh, seat base finished off so we can get into the aircraft and do aeroplane noises. Uh, the rear spar carry through uh, support piece needs to be put in place and hopefully a little bit to do with the uh, trim mechanism. So let's see how I get on. Come on there. Oh, I'm uh, just going to make up. Well, the, 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 there is actually a ply section that's supplied uh, like this uh, with the kit. But I'm going to have to modify my one because uh, the uh, this notch here is for cross member uh, at the base of the rear seat, sort of bulkhead sort of line. And of course, I put my bulkhead ply on the other side, so it's just going to be trimmed up here. That fits down here uh, and effectively uh, braces uh, the rear spar carry through stopping it from twisting from any actions going through the elevator uh, reversing lever side and also any loads that might be there cause it, just to stop it from trying to kink uh, it's mainly going to take a compressional load and go in there I've got to find uh, some half inch triangle uh, stock which I'm, I've got left over from uh, the wings uh, the lower wings I think so I've got that saved so I'm just going to use that for a lot and uh, we'll get on with it so there they are just uh, little triangular blocks all pre-made up to match so go on each side I'll bond this little lot together and then I'll uh, show you what it what it looks like uh, once it's cured really. Um, I might have to put a little bit of a thickened gusset of glue down the bottom edge there. That's a good fit but uh, there's nothing much structural but then this is only taking out the, the sort of compression loads from the rear spar carry through to the bulkhead there it's, it's just to help to stiffen that up a bit. So there is the uh, bracing piece in position, uh, all bonded in. Uh, I did put a little bit of uh, cotton floxed, uh, bulked out resin just along the bottom edge there just to make that joint a little bit stronger there. But uh, other than that, all came out remarkably well. Well, there's the uh, seat, front seat support bonded into position I'm just waiting for that to cure and uh, then I can take that uh, that seat frame up and start uh, looking at uh, skinning it so let's we'll see how we get on with that okay so I'm about to uh, bond my piece of eighth ply to make the uh, the seat base I've got my my wedge here which is slightly too wide but uh, so right thick this tapered right down so that's going to go into acts as a slight filler piece and then I'm going to clamp this little lot down I'm going to use uh, just standard T88 resin all the way around except for the back edge here I will put a little bit of bulking agent in some uh, cotton flocks so as you can see a fair few clamps just to uh, move the plywood into into the shape and hold it there uh, thickened resin at the back edge uh, with just a bulking agent the cotton flocks at the back edge uh, everywhere else it's just plain standard uh, T88 resin uh, hopefully we've not got too much squeeze out to make it really awkward clean up but uh, we'll leave that and that should then be ready to be trimmed and turned into a seat base getting close to making airplane noises well, let's have a little look and see what's uh, what's come out then. Uh. So there we have it. It's uh, doesn't look too bad. So uh, this will all be trimmed uh, initially to get a sort of like a sort of square 
uh, seat bit and then that will be a little bit of shape adding in to the uh, to the front corners and sides a bit so uh, but there we go okay seat mounting so I'm about to bond in uh, uh, these bits here you can sort of see that they're that's three quarters of an inch going down that, that's just over a quarter of an inch sticking out there and that's what the lower seat rails will actually sit onto and these get bonded in here so the seat will be screwed along this back place here in a couple of places three places uh, to keep it in position there and so it's resting on the cross member the ply section will be resting on the cross member and the rails will be actually resting on these uh, these bits of wood so it should allow for uh, that extra bit of G on a heavy landing or something like that going through the seat well here's the basic rectangle for the uh, the seat with the uh, the wave section in it there strip at the back which is going on to the uh, cross member all the bits here this is just being uh, sanded back to uh, close to the, the ends of these there's a slight wave in the front here uh, where the plywood tried to flex itself straight or succeeded in flexing itself slightly straight I think uh, if I was to do this again I'm not going to but if I was going to do this again I think I'd have, I should have soaked the, uh, the plywood and uh, left it in a form to dry uh, for a bit of time that would have probably uh, got rid of that um, but it's so minimal that that piece there that I'm going to leave it as it is so all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to freehand draw a, a slight pattern on this side to uh, you know, make it a little bit more interesting in shape and uh, and take out a little bit uh, you know, of, of material where it's not needed and then I'll trace that and I'll put it over onto the other side so uh, I'll just crack on and do that and uh, show you what, what we come up with as a shape so there we have it it, uh, it needs uh, sanding up uh, all, all over but uh, there's the basic basic shape just wasted in slightly there uh, just to make it a little bit more interesting to look at it takes a little bit of weight but just uh, rather than just being a a rectangle I think it just looks a little bit better uh, so there we are we're now uh, really just to give this a, a clean up and then I'll uh, need to drill two mounting holes in the front and I'm looking at doing three mounting holes at the rear for the screws to go through uh, to hold this little lot uh, this little lot down there we go so here's a bit that uh, I've added to this cross member here and uh, it's for my trim system so mounted on here will be uh, a pulley set up to go towards the front end um, and this will be stiffened up a little bit more by the fact there will be uh, ply sections coming off the, uh, the cross member onto the lower stringers so that will help to triangulate things uh, I've got this little bracket section there that will be uh, drilled uh, well the wood will be drilled to accept that there um, and there will be a couple of pulleys on there but I'll go into more detail on the trim system uh, once it's completed well really this is it for the week uh, working away from home and things has, uh, has caught up with me so uh, here's the seat base currently I've put a, a priming coat on uh, it needs to have its holes drilled uh, I've put a priming coat on so I can sand and get things uh, the grain start to be filled uh, for the paints or side of life uh, I thought I'd do that now as I'm waiting for the uh, the resin to, to cure off on these little pieces back here uh, and then I can drill the holes to get the uh, the seat mounting sorted out there 
and then I can finish off painting that uh, that seat. Uh, we've got the uh, brace in here for uh, this uh, rear spar carry through. It's all bonded in and uh, in place. So that's that's good news. And I've got uh, these are just temporary bolts going through here. Um, but I've got the uh, trim pulleys in position, uh, the holes drilled and everything there. Uh, there'll be probably a little bit of heat shrink going over the top of that uh, bracket there, just where that, that little lot sits uh, to isolate it a little bit. But uh, the trim system, there's a lot of work yet to be done as to where holes are going to go through here and where the uh, the other end of the the operating system is going to go up the top end here and to get that bit sorted out i need to have the seat base in here so i can make airplane noises and work out where i would like to have the throttle uh, positioned and where i would like to have the uh, the trim section positioned so a little bit of working out to be done uh hey ho so might not appear very productive but while i've been away uh doing uh, stuff up for work uh, i have been uh, sort of doing some planning this i've got uh, this bulkhead section uh here worked out uh i've got to do a little bit more working out as to what i'm going to do here because it's I'm, I'm planning on making the overall height of the uh, rear turtle deck uh, slightly lower it's just a, a slight change it's my own sort of idea on life I'm going to be getting rid of a good chunk of weight uh, by reducing the number of uh, stringers in the top end here because they're not structural as, as far as the airframe section goes really they're there just for pure form and shape uh, for the covering so definitely going down by a couple of stringers possibly four and then hopefully we're going to get some weather where i can actually go back outside i want to put the wings back on so that i can you know and uh, and drill holes going through for the mountings and get those bushed up and then i can put the plywood side skins going on the side of the fuselage all the way down that'll make life uh, a little bit better uh, for uh, getting some bits finished off I can start putting side stringers and things like that on again I'm reducing the number of side stringers to reduce weight because they're not uh, they're not structural the ply is doing that work and even that of reducing the thickness off uh, from my calculations it doesn't need to be as thick as it is for the rear end so there's an awful lot of uh, of modifications uh, and and bits that I'd like to get sorted out. Uh, if the weather doesn't come along, I've got some bits I want to finish off on the tail, which I'll show you. And I'm going to uh, do the work on the uh, control column bit, so that I have that clearance for that uh, forward tube, so it misses the uh, undercarriage carry through. And then we can start making up uh, jigs hopefully for undercarriages. Hey ho, lots of work to go. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. You can subscribe or even hit the little bell notification for future videos. Any comments would be appreciated and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Remember, go fly and feel the sky.